Well, hey guys, we have made it to Nassau. We finally were able to get away from a lot of the copyrighted music that we can't have in our videos. But we are here at the Margaritaville Resort. Um, this is our last port on our cruise. So we decided to chill out at a resort. Others are snorkeling and doing other kinds of things, but this is what we decided to do. And so far it's been pretty relaxing. And um, we've done like the lazy river and we're about to check out the little beach here. Almost, huh? Almost. He's got more hip action than me. Mm. And there's our cruise ships. We are parked next to the Freedom of the Seas, which is the Royal Caribbean one. Um, Freedom of the Seas is like the sister to, what is it, Oasis of the Seas? Mm -hmm. And they are huge. We've, we've seen reviews on them. We'd be excited to do those one day. The Norwegian is also here. Yeah, and the Norwegian ship that was next to us. And uh, let's see, not Half Moon K because that's Carnival only. But what was the port? Freeport. Freeport. Okay. Hey, this place is like worse than Jamaica as far as peddlers go. It's almost worth taking the taxi even though this is like well within walking distance because you know the cruise ships are right there. Just to not be peddled. I don't know how many times. I'm fairly certain someone asked me if I wanted to smoke weed. Oh, they absolutely did. And I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people would though. Not I. I mean, if that's your thing, whatever. But man every 10 yards maybe literally that's not an exaggeration so i guess you just gotta be polite yeah i mean you, when we said no thank you i mean they were like okay so it's not like they kept pounding you but yeah the taxi drivers though no we do not want an island tour <laughs> i'm the green slide
but we are done at Margaritaville. Did not do a lot of filming with sound there because they had a lot of copyrighted songs, of course, like I mentioned earlier. But we are on our way back to the cruise ship. Hopefully we can find a shirt or something on the way there and pick it up. That guy round two of going through the peddlers. And they got Dunkin' Donuts, as well as McDonald's. And Dairy Queen. And Dairy Not Queen. Just Texas thing. Yeah, isn't that weird? Dairy Queen over here in the Bahamas. Look, there's a Dunkin' Donuts. I was saying the other day to Lana that I wanted some donuts, but I don't know if they'll let me bring that on the ship. That looks safe on the street. Mm. A little electrocution. I don't know about that. <laughs> Got you a shirt at the straw market. Yeah, you know what I really want that I've never been able to find? A good anklet. An anklet? Yeah, I used to wear anklets all the time and I love them. Oh Lord. But we are done in the straw market. They had some good souvenirs in there that we were able to sift through. I guess people kind of have their own space in there kind of like a flea market in the US. Um, you just kind of sift through it all, give you their prices, and you negotiate and buy it. And we got a couple t-shirts, so probably overpaid a little bit, but sports local economy, I guess, right? Yeah. So we're gonna head back to the ship. It is raining. Security, they let us back in so we can get back on our ship now. Uh, currently, our port is being shared by Norwegian, which is the ship we saw over there in, well, I already said this earlier, but, and we also got the Freedom of the Seas. I think I want to check that out before we get on ours, just to see how big it is. Alright, checked out Freedom of the Seas. It's a little bit different than Oasis of the Seas. A little set up different, a little different on the back. But we are going to tackle this long line to get back on the boat. This is officially our last port of our eight day cruise and we'll be headed back home. Back to the real world. Back to work. And by the way, Lana got me this shirt as a joke, but jokes on her because I love it. My Bahamas shirt. I like that shirt. It wasn't a joke. Yeah, I did not buy it to go with those swim trunks, but... There you go. Yeah. And that little pink number and the little pinkish number. Yeah. I did have strict and swift instructions as soon as I woke up this morning to not walk outside of my boxers or naked. Because <laughs> when we woke up, we were right next to Freedom of the Seas, and I'm sure they did not want that show, according Those to Lana. Those would have got a free show out of the deal. Personally, I think, you know, getting a free show like that is a good deal, but couldn't disobey we're orders. We're literally right next to them. We are right next to them. best time to take advantage of the hot tub and the pool situations is when everyone is there in port and when you first get back because everyone is like swam out so no one wants to swim or they're just hammered yeah that's true <laughs> so we're gonna go find a hot tub we could see from our room that one was empty so we're gonna go take advantage Well, 
that's pretty much it. That was our last port. So like Lana said, we are headed back and she is still dancing. Same dance moves. <laughs> that's all I got. That's all she has. But I'm very, very, very excited because tonight we have the silent party. Oh Lord. <laughs> Basically everybody puts on their headphones and everyone's listening to different music. And but, it's silent. But it's completely silent on deck. So I can be doing this and nobody knows why. They just think that she's a crazy lady, which they probably already do. I'll never see these people again. I don't know if the camera is picking up the blueness of this water, but all that water right there is incredible looking. It's like that, it's like that weird blue in the crayon box. What is it? Cerulean? Cerulean? No idea. It's that one. It is beautiful though. but it was getting kind of dark but man I have never seen the ocean this calm on my fourth cruise or our fourth cruise it's incredible out here right now So we are here at dinner again. What's blowing us away, we don't know what has changed, but last time we took a cruise, 2018, and all the times before then, dinner was like a main event, wouldn't you say? Yeah, everybody went to dinner. But for some reason, like no one is showing up. And I don't, I don't get that, because you only get these foods that they're serving at this dinner. Like they don't serve it anywhere else the rest of the ship for the most part. But it's become like not a thing anymore, I guess. Like this is the second or third night in a row we've been by ourselves at dinner. And tonight it's even more stairs like around us as well. So I don't know, maybe you guys can explain that to us why it's that way. Any theories? People got plastered in the Bahamas. I don't know. Yeah. But starting on night two. I mean we are late dinner, so like our dinner time's at eight fifteen. So maybe the early dinner is busier, I don't know. Mm. I don't know. Do you have any ideas? Put it down below in the comment. So we are at a the silent party and we have these headphones. Red or green are the two music channels. So while you might hear this in your headphones, cue the music. All you hear is this on deck. Nothing. So you only they're silent because everyone's on their headphones. So people can match and dance together, but you have no idea what everyone else is dancing to. It's hilarious. Oh. <laughs> 
that is it for day whatever day this is. The day we were in Nassau. Yeah, the day we were in Nassau. Tomorrow. And we had the silent party. You're welcome for all those dance moves. Don't steal them. <laughs> the, the silent party was pretty funny, and it was just flat fun. It was it was pretty cool. We never done something like that before with the different channels, and everyone's listening to their own song. It was pretty neat. Uh, so that closes out today. We got two C days, and then we are back in Galveston, back to the real world. So we okay. actually shut her down. This is the latest I've stayed up in years. Yeah, we uh, there was like no one awake left on the boat except for a bunch of kids. And us. Yeah, and us. We're so. going to pay for it tomorrow. I'm sure we will. Anyways, we'll see you next week, uh, tomorrow for us. So see you later, guys. Bye. Trying to play me like a new guy But I'm buzzing in the apple like a fruit fly I'll be somewhere in Seattle getting neck bone